In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to send MIDI into Reason and receive the audio back from Reason on a separate channel. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to insert a virtual instrument or new track and we're going to go to rewire and then select Reason. So here's Reason. Uh, I have an empty rack set up. So we're going to expand this area here so we can see all of our inputs. And if you don't know already, when you press tab, you can see the back of our outputs for audio. Okay, so let's start with putting in so let's start with putting in redrum. So we're just going to add uh, redrum comp. Okay, so now we have redrum in here and um, it's going out to the stereo, which is the default. So what we want to do is all the sounds in redrum are mono anyway this that is panned so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go um disconnect both of these i'm going to go this is the one to one and disconnect that and you're just doing this by clicking two to two three to three four to four you can also right click on them and say redrum channel five left you know, six left but i like to just do the drag thing it's probably the cool thing about reason so now that's all uh routed out press tab again so now when we play these we'll see them we'll see them changing the input at least the first two because we haven't set up reaper yet so let's get out of this for now just minimize it don't push the x like a vst or else you have to reopen it so minimize reason and we can close this out. Go to the IO section of our Reason host track. What we want to do is change this track channels. We want to change that to up to 64, which is what Reason allows. I'm only going to do 16 for now, since I'm not going to do all 64, but all the same concepts go for all of them. So for now, I'm just going to do uh, 16, and we can close that out. And after that, we can click on effects, and you have to tell it where to put all these tracks. So we have audio from rewire, which is whatever is being rewired. So in this, we're going to go and continue these down to channel 16. So if you had 64, you have to continue it down to 64 tracks. And I'll show you how to save a template, so you only have to do it once so you have a very good starting point uh, for your next time so just assign these all one you know one to one two to two three to three four to four all right so now that that's all done what we can do is right click on this rewire and tell it to build multi-channel routing for output of this selected effect click on that and it's going to give us this message similar to the video with contact it's going to ask us if we want to automatically build the routing system. We're going to click on yes. And now, boom, you see here on the left side, we have mix, which is a stereo output. We'll change that. And then all the way down to channel 16. So now, if we open up Reason, we play the Reason, we can see that these are going to different channels. So the only thing that's a problem right now is we need to create a track and name it channel two and then change this to channel one. And what we need to do is change out the IO. You see how here it's receiving on channels one and two. We want to change that to just channel one. And then this one here, we want to actually add a receive from the reason host on channel two only. So now when we open up our reason, we've got uh, separate channels. Kick, number one, snare, rim, shaker. As you can see, it goes down the line six and so on. So now that's set up. So now what do you do if you want to set it up so that you have a MIDI track that can trigger this? We're going to go control T and we are going to name this redrum MIDI. Okay. Now I'm going to make one more track and just name it uh, drums. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take all the way down to channel 10 and I'm going to move them including this redrum MIDI into this folder. So now this is everything to do with 
uh, my redrum. So if we go to the drums and we change the input to uh, say, this is a virtual keyboard because you only get to use that once at a time. And we turn it to record and turn it to monitor. And then on this here, we're gonna click and change it to not record. So uh, disable recording. And then this track here, which is the MIDI one, we want to actually record on that. We want the input for this to be virtual keyboard all. And this one, I'll change the virtual keyboard to 16 because that's never going to be used because I don't want this ever to interfere with anything, double triggers or anything like that. And this one here also needs to be monitored. So now our V-Drum is set up to send to Reason. So if you see this, it has that little... Uh, bar there flickering around because I'm hitting notes. So now how do I actually tell this to send into Reason? Go to the effects and then MIDI send to rewire and make sure that this channel 1 is on redrum and then make sure that we are sending MIDI to Reason host no audio turn it to none all MIDI channels from this particular track to channel one. That's gonna to send to redrum because that's on channel one right here. So now if we open up our virtual keyboard, it is sending through. It works if you get a sequence in reason as well. So you can do that too. You can sequence inside of it and then just mix it in there. If you just have loops or whatever. Anyway, so let's go on to the next one. Um, I'm gonna add in the NN XT and um, remember we have to wire these out to an input so I'm going to send these to um, 11 and 12 even though I'm using it for a bass I probably don't really need stereo but I'm just going to do it anyway so all right so we got 11 and 12 and this next track here since we're going to go to 11 and 12 I'm just going to delete the track 12 because I'm making this one synth one left right enter and we're going to create a new track this is going to be called synth one synth one midi and this one here is synth one audio left and right now you can name these whatever you want if you make your template and it's always the same thing like you say it's always going to be bass or it's always going to be keys here you can name it whatever you want but this is also a good way to say you know i'm just going to have these pre-routed so um i'm just going to open it up synth one two three with the uh and then next XT and you can just go ahead and change the sound to whatever you want you just know that it's the first one and that's what matters on this one here we're gonna need to make sure it's receiving on 11 and 12 by clicking on this 11 and 12 and then it's sending to a stereo pair which is the channel that you're on this one here we're gonna make sure we are sending to the reason host no audio MIDI all to channel 2 now close that that's set up. And now this one here, we um, right click on the record button, disabling record, we're turning the monitor on, and then we're going to virtual, I like to set it to virtual keyboard on the MIDI input to channel 16 because I'm never going to use that because I don't want this ever to start monitoring anything because it doesn't need to. So this one here, we're going to just do MIDI virtual keyboard uh, ch channel one monitoring you can obviously set it to your regular keyboard you know that's why it's there and then what we're gonna do is we gotta go up to this effects one more time and then here for channel 2 MIDI send to rewire we're gonna right click on that and we're gonna tell it to go to NNXT number one all right so now if we go down here, open up our keyboard. Now we got our bass. Awesome. So now what we can do is I, uh, I like to just get the rid of the rest of these. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna duplicate this, Control D, you highlight them all, Control D, you'll duplicate them. And then I'm just going to uh, rename them two synth two and now what you need to do is you need to make sure you change your io to midi send channels three and then on the audio one we need to make sure it sends to 
audio 13 and 14, not 12 and 13, because that'll be taking part of that. So 13 and 14, the next pair up. And now, if we go into Reason, we have to actually put an effect or else we won't be able to send something to it. Let's put in Thor. And if we use Thor, um, take the stereo outs, go to 13 and 14. All right, so that's maps correctly now in there. And then go up to the Reason Host, Effects, and Channel 3, Thor 1. So now if we go down to Thor, and open up a virtual keyboard. And there you go. So all separate channels, which is awesome. And um, you can do like I said before, you can open up the IO, change this channel thing to 64 so you can have some, you know, reason open with like a bazillion virtual instruments all mapped into Reaper. So I just did, um, I didn't even do 16, what did I do, 10 is on the drums and then, uh, what did I do, 14, I did 14 I think. So now what we want to do, now that we have this set up, is we want to save this as a track template. So we're going to click on the bottom one and we're going to highlight them all. You can always change the colors and everything, That's that comes as well. We're going to right click on it, any one of them, and go to save tracks as template and we'll go in here and name this okay it's save and now if we go into our reason we will save this and name it the same uh, thing I'm gonna save it to the desktop for now and save that so now I'm gonna close that reason I'm gonna close out this whole session no don't save so now watch this if I right click and go to insert track from template I can go through and I can select my reason with redrum 1nc1 Thor press open it's gonna open reason and everything you just need to open up our file that we made previously which I put on my desktop uh, this one right here open now when we go here it should have all of our maps see Re, uh, redrum and NXT Thor 1 so now if we go down here that one's set up we got Thor and then we undo that one put this one on we got our NXT and then we go up to the top and we get our drums awesome this is my template that I have set up to open it's not an empty rack what you can do in Reason is go to your edit section and go to preferences. And if you have, if you make your template that you're always using in Reaper, you can go to custom and then search out and just find a template that you're going to use automatically. Which I'll just select this one. You know, you might have some super extravagant thing that you want to load that you use on every single project. You might have. Um, a couple of them so you just want to have one folder and you can just select them when you want uh, whatever you want to do so I'm actually gonna leave this how I had it before which is just um, just redrums and then whenever I want I'll just go ahead and open um, up this one and then it'll have everything here for me effects and it automatically wraps it out again it's awesome of course since you have everything set up if I go here and I make a new MIDI item which is insert new MIDI item and I go ahead and make a couple of sounds and I go ahead on this one and I say render track to stem and mute original it will of course go ahead through and render out this MIDI going into reason coming back as audio so this is how you set it up properly that's how you make your template so you don't have to ever do it again because it does take a long time uh, to get it set up but um, there you have it thanks for watching tutorials for reaper.com I'm Johnny from red sneaker records